hey guys welcome to my channel so guys in this video i will be explaining about college admission management system project okay so now guys let's get started so guys this is the home page a simple slider you can change the images and uh, about a section with a static image and then third section apply for admission and here the latest notices and finally a footer guys with the your website information and the quick links then follow us social media so these all are managed from the back end and here the contact information managed from the back end admin dashboard and here is the subscribe okay newsletter so now guys you can go to the about us and here you have about us page now if you go to the courses so here are all the list of courses with the description and if you click apply now it goes to the login.php of the user page okay so now guys uh, let's move to the notices here so in this notices all the notices are listed so now go to the contact and here you can submit your contact forms and these are the information contact information you can manage from your admin side yep and now guys let's click on this login so here you have a login form and here is a register button so register form okay and then uh, admin go to the admin login okay and back to home so again if you click on this contact yellow button so it returns to the contact form itself so now guys let's begin with the user part so yep so first i will get registered with phone number email with at gmail.com one two three four five six is the password let's register registration successful login to continue so now let me log in with at gmail.com one two three four five six click to sign in so you have signed in guys and here is your dashboard college admission management system for the user okay so basically it's a user dashboard and here is a logout button and this is your profile so now guys if you click on this dashboard you are like apply for the courses admission form and if you click here direct admission form so it comes to this admission form and submit fees and then profile so here is the profile guys you can update your profile so you cannot change your email id but you can update your phone number and full name and guys if you want to change the password just enter the current password and change the password and logout button okay so now guys let's get started with admission form so if we click here apply now so i will be applying for the btech and here is my basic details full name email and date of birth just select any date of birth okay and select the mail enter the phone number select a photo this will be my user image and father name x y z a b c indian others and address one so permanent address one permanent net and here the qualification so state board year 2013 okay 85 state so same thing you can just enter 2015 and percentage something 75 and this is a computer science computer and same with the degree also you can enter university so whatever your university or board it comes so please enter that and percentage so now guys coming to the mark sheet you can upload your transfer certificate so let's select with the transfer certificate so guys i have just created a simple sample pdf file and same i will take for the 10th mark sheet also and also for the 12th and here i am not going to upload for the degree and post graduation so now let's select here here i accept and signature with let's click to submit and here your application has been submitted perfect 
so once submitted you can see the application status it is pending right now because it is not approved from the admin side and here you have a edit and print button and these are the application details guys let me just show you okay so these are the details and all things so guys coming to this file upload here you have an option to view so if you click on this transport certificate view in the next tab it will show the pdf file okay whatever document you have uploaded so same with the 10th sheet also and the 12th sheet also okay now you're done so if you don't upload it will show n a n forward slash a and then guys these are the basic details and here agree and signature so guys this edit button will be visible only if it is pending okay so now if you click on this edit you can just edit all these details and upload it again here you see that you have an while edit you have a got a view button so which means you can view that uploaded file so yep now you can get back and here you have one print option let me just click print and show you so you can see all these details let me full width and zoom you let's cancel so now guys let's move on this submit fees so here you see your application is pending so you cannot submit the fees so now guys let me just log in in incognito mode with admin credentials so here let's copy the url i mean the domain so here we paste now you can get to the root of your project click on admin login admin at gmail.com two three four five six click login and you have logged in successfully okay so now guys here you see on this dashboard you see all the admission applications that total application pending selected rejected applications and coming to the other information like total courses notices inquiries mail subscriber total registered user total admins and here is one notification guys that is showing that you have one notification which has applied this user has applied just now we have registered and logged in right so with has applied for the course it's showing in this notification so guys if you click here you can go there or else you can just move here on this admission and you can see that the admission has come so status is pending right now and there are filter option guys like you can just filter pending selected or rejected files also you can filter from this admission application so now guys let us view this from the admin side so admin has viewed it and here coming below application update so let's make it as selected and if you make it as rejected guys you get an option like only remark you cannot have an option of fees so if you keep pending or selected so you get this fee amount option so i will tell like 45000 and here you are approved okay and before that if you want to view the documents of his you can just click and view the documents okay so same for all these documents so now guys let us update this uh, application uh, update so let's click to update application status updated and here you see that the application status is selected remark you are approved remark date on what date you have remarked and what time and here the fee amount and fee status arrived right now it is not paid okay so you can view this like fee amount yet submitted by student to move below and now guys let's get back to the user student dashboard and now if you refresh submit fees you will get the option so your application is selected and if you go on this dashboard also your application is selected submit fee for the applied course okay so let's go to this submit fees and here you are so payment amount is this payment mode upi you can tell and give the transaction number or just select anything and give that transaction number guys so uh, i will give xyz some random digit string value and the transaction date will tell so i'll give today date or you can mention the yesterday date anyone anyhow okay so let's click today date only and let's click to submit so here you see payment fee completed so your fee is submitted and now if you go on the admission form you don't have that edit application let's get back on the submit fees 
so now guys let's go to the admin dashboard refresh now here you see fee status paid okay so if you view that you can view that student detail who have paid okay this is the payment info and user info is this so now guys if you click on this admin application here you see no record font because the course is selected so you can just filter the selected courses pending or rejected okay so it is selected or if you want fetch all you can just click here fetch all and it will show you everything so now guys let's click on selected and here you have the option to view fees and view that application so you can view the application get back view fees also cool so now guys you can get back to the search application and here you see search by application number you will be having the application number just go and let's copy the application number so this is the application number guys let me copy this get to the search application and paste that application number click on search so here you get that exact uh, application what i have applied with has applied okay and here you can view that and same goes on let's get back and if you want to just reset click reset button that's it so this was about uh, application admission application approval and searching and coming to this reports guys here so you can select the date like from this to today date filter filter a number of reports okay whatever they have applied and same goes with the view and fee details so now guys uh, let's move on the manage part like manage about the website so click on the courses so here we have clicked and here you see the list of courses you can add the courses you can edit the courses and you can also delete the course okay so guys let me just show you the list of courses so here we select open and we are here go to the courses so guys you might notice that user dashboard and logout part so okay if you click you will reach to this user dashboard itself okay let's continue with the courses so guys let me just add one dummy course here at the last box so get back to your course list let's add one course so course dummy and description also dummy 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 and it is active submit okay so here you see the course dummy has added now get back on the user side i mean front end side so you see that at the top you have got the dummy course okay course dummy and working fine so now you can get back to the admin dashboard and if you want to inactive let's click here edit update so it is inactive and refresh so here you see that it has disappeared course dummy cool so same way guys uh, if you want you can just make it to active so right now i'm going to delete this so let me make it first active and you can see here it is visible now let's click to delete the dummy course click here to delete okay and course deleted successfully so now get back refresh so here you see that course is deleted so now guys let's get to notices so here get back to your dashboard and click on this public notices so under this public notices you have two notices right now so it's visible two notices so just get back to add notice like new notice new notice adding description also the same so paste submit so you have added the new notice refresh so here you see at the top new notice has come with the date and time yep so same thing you can just edit inactive and delete that okay let's inactive update so it's inactive now let's refresh so here you see it is inactive so now if you make it to active update get back refresh new notice adding cool so let us delete this not required deleted and you will see that it's no more perfect so now guys coming back to your admin dashboard so we see this registered user so let's click on this registered user here whoever registers on the website you will list them here if you want manually to add the student or user 
you can manually add it to now guys coming all these enquiries so here enquiry means it is getting the all contact details so you can get back and click on the contact so here like uh, Mohan so his phone number Mohan at gmail.com this is my message okay let's submit thank you for inquiry our team will get back to you so let's get back refresh on the inquiries so here you see that one inquiry has come and it is unread so you can filter here by is read not read okay let's view and you can update that it is read so let's click update and you see that it is read so if you refresh and you can check with not read and read messages so by default you can get all also okay so now guys let's move on the subscribers so here subscriber email id list so where is this from this is from your footer let me subscribe here ved at gmail.com let's click to send so you have subscribed successfully and now you can get back refresh perfect so you get the subscription also you can click to delete it okay so now guys let's click on this admins so this admins option is for admin dashboard if you want to add more admin you can just add it by the name and give the credentials to them and you can also ban them guys like here active or inactive okay so it's banned so it is not banned so it is active right now so let's move to this social media let's click on it and here you see the list of social medias guys which is available here in the follow option at the footer so let me just add a uh, youtube so which is youtube so yt.com forward slash funda of web it and let's click to submit so here you see it's added and you can view that refresh so here you see that youtube is added cool so now guys coming to the settings part so if you click on the setting here you see the title website the description so let me update write the word update and here seo headers this all will be in the back end and these are the contact informations which is available at this footer part so here update will come and you can see this contact details also let me get back so instead of contact i will make it as info and here phone number all triple eight okay and yeah okay now let's click on save so settings saved here small description and contact information has changed so refresh so here you see update and all this contact information has changed guys okay so you can manage through your settings and finally the change password for the admin he can change his current password and guys then log out so guys that's it so we have successfully uh, seen the demo of our college admission management system in php mysql so guys if you are interested in purchasing please purchase the project link given in the description thank you for watching this video guys also please subscribe and like the video and share the video thank you